It's only a ground rod, an eight foot ground rod going to a hundred amp electrical panel. You can see here it is connected to the grounding bus. Going in, I've already drilled a pilot hole into the concrete floor below the panel. And on the top, I have my hammer drill. In this case, it appears as if we've hit a larger piece of bedrock it's holding us up. We're going to take on our acorn. We're going to put that on because we're going to be using a sledgehammer to hit it in a little further, hopefully to bypass that bedrock. After a few good hard hits, it seems as if we've made some leeway there. The rod is beginning to sink again. So we'll begin to use our hammer drill again. Now that I'm happy with the location of the ground rod, the acorn is still able to slip off. We like to take the acorn, slip it back on, slide it down over the rod, make sure it gets the rounding wire is wedged in the angled position and we're going to tighten that up. I'm just using a pair of channel locks here just to tighten the copper up to the rod itself. like to do is 
take the existing copper that's left and bend it down over the connector. rest of the rod, as you see the wire is going up, we have it secured here, connected to our service panel. 